Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K16 Presents World Championship Classics. Again, inspired by the Cruiserweight Classics going on in WWE right now. Uh, that itself is looking pretty cool. Can't wait for it. Um, so, <laughs> this is actually my second recording of this video. Because I just got done, oh, honestly, seconds ago. Well, maybe a minute ago. Because I'm about 50 seconds into this. But, accidentally hit delete. Didn't pay attention, and I accepted it. So, I deleted the whole entire thing, so. <laughs> Here we are again, people. But, why not? It's fun. I enjoy doing this. But, uh, again, you may notice something different. Or maybe like little mess ups from the previous videos, episode 3 and 4, the one with uh, Brothers of Destruction and the one with The Rock and Big Show. Um, I originally decided to record two matches per episode, but that ended up being like 20, 23, 24, 25 minutes, and my internet like, was just not having that, just uploading that much. Um, so I went in and I cut down the episodes down to one match per episode so now they're roughly around like 10 minutes give or take a few minutes but I I decided to do the commentary for the first two videos which was ended up being the first four videos so and I never redid the commentary for them so it kinda like I don't know like maybe episode three I think it's I said and the next episode we're going to see this match right here, Sting vs. Ric Flair. But in the end, it ended up being The Rock vs. The Big Show. That was the next one after Kane and Taker. But that is in the past. And all the next videos you shall see for this entire tournament will be correct. The commentary will be correct. Because I now am doing them single matches per episode so no mess ups there but here we go we got sting waiting on the outside while rick flair does the styling and profiling that rick flair has done for like 300 decades <laughs> and let's go we're heading on rick sting's overpowering rick flair well rest time we got rep's gonna break it up Oh, and Sting sucker punches Rick, uh, Rick Flair, my, my bad. Sucker punches Sting, and his forearms him, knocks him down, and he starts wooing like nobody's business. And back chop. So. Exit. Halloween Havoc. I picked this pay per view because it's probably the best looking pay per view stage that they have for WCW. Do, 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 uh, leg drop. There we go. But I was just, I was thinking about doing the uh, like downloading and well, I, had, I downloaded a Nitro Arena, but for some reason you can't use custom arenas and the tournament modes, which I'm just the uh, class of the champion or Gold Rush tournament, whatever the hell it's called. But you, I guess you can only use them in the universe mode, which kind of sucks. Because I did download some cool ones. I downloaded the Fist from SmackDown. Downloaded the Nitro one. So there's some cool ones, but I, I do really enjoy the Halloween Havoc one. So that's why I use this one. And down from the Stinger's arm. Well, okay, so I know this isn't... They can, they, this doesn't involve with this because this is a WCW video. But uh, coming up soon, they have the the brand split again. Uh, in the comments, let me know what you guys think of that. Like, are you looking forward to it? You think it's not going to turn out well? Um, I feel like it can be good, but I think the Madden SmackDown Live is going to add more stress. Oh, look at that! Messed it up. Went for a stinger splash, but uh. I just hope they don't raid NXT, so NXT is like a whole bunch of people that no one cares about. 
um, I did. I mean, a lot of the people down in NXT, like people care about because they're entertaining people. But you know, there's some new ones. Like I hope they just don't bring in a whole bunch of new people that people don't know, and they just fill that with NXT and then take all the people that are well known in NXT and just move them to the, the rosters. But I think that that might hurt NXT a good bit. But I mean, I'm looking forward to. It. I don't want to dismiss it yet. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to praise it yet either. But I am looking forward to it. Should be fun. Um, I think the inevitable is going to happen. It's going to be just John Cena running rough shot over everybody in one, and then Roman Reigns in the other, and I, it's just going to be annoying. And it would totally water down the product even more if you had the same guy or the same type of character running the show doing the same exact Superman type gimmick because that has definitely ran its course as everyone knows but that's nothing new yep there we go Scorpion Deathlock Ric Flair gonna tap out here we go now, I've never truly been big on Ric Flair like I was never crazy on him, but I do like his over exaggerations, like the old man flop and how he like he elbow drops his jacket and stuff like that, like or blazer, whatever the hell you want to call it. But uh, like, that stuff's hilarious. Um, but like I said, as like just a pr like I've never been crazy on his wrestling. I don't know, maybe he was the shiznick back in like the 80s and stuff like that and I just I haven't watched much of him back then because I haven't cared about him in recent time to go back and look maybe that's it but um I don't know if you can think of amazing matches that Ric Flair has been in in like the 70s or 80s or even early early 90s because uh about like the mid 90s is when I started watching wrestling and if I don't care typically if I don't care much about the wrestler I won't go back in time and I'll watch what they've done previously like I said, like i.e. Ric Flair so like Sting I've when I got into Sting he it was just awesome I got into wrestling the mid 90s but that was WWE or F whatever you want to call it I didn't watch WCW right away, right then. I didn't even know WCW existed until I think really my dad showed me it or something. I don't really quite remember how I got involved. I want to say that is how it happened because my dad was a huge Goldberg fan. Like he was WCW, his like person was Goldberg, and then WWE, his person was The Undertaker. So he probably got me into it. I don't even know. But I do know that I never wanted to change the channel when Raw was on. Which is when WCW was on because I like Raw so much, so I never got to find out that uh, WCW existed. There's a Scorpion Death Drop. Oh, he's on pen him. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. Sting, by way of pinfall, moves on to the next round, aka the Sweet 16 if you're a March Madness fan. But if you're not, then tough shit. <laughs> Sweet 16. And he gets one step closer to becoming the king of WWE, I believe. Like, I, I still don't know. Like, I still am not crazy about the name. I couldn't think of, like, a wonderful name. Maybe by the end of the tournament, you know. But it, it's a custom elitist belt. I took, like, the best people from each of the four generations I included on this tournament. And... They're just going to fight all the way to the end for, Let's not for a, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, the ECW, WCW, New Japan, or TNA, or whatever the hell. They're going to fight. It's basically just like, WWE doesn't have its Super Bowl, or the, the Vince Lombardi Trophy, or the uh, Stanley Cup oh Championship Cup thing that's like, mega big and the biggest pride in sports entertainment or just sports but uh it, they don't have their thing like that so that's just kind of what i'm creating with this is like having wwe's main like trophy to hold up they have the world heavyweight championship but that's like just the normal everyday belt so again that's that's like my whole like point to this though but people as you see 
His hands in the air, Sting. He defeated Ric Flair, and as if you weren't watching 12 seconds ago, it says right there again, Sting defeats Ric Flair to move on to the next round to face the winner of Kevin Nash and Booker T. But tell keep it. I don't know. Keep it something. Keep it cool. I'm not going to depend on Xavier Woods, but peace, people.